Jeff, Garrison Brooks isn't only back and healthy. He was goofing around at practice today and totally in his element. We were able to catch up with him and his teammates about those tooth issues and his Auburn roots. Duke season ended in the Elite Eight, but Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett are still making history. The Duke duo was named AP All-American. Right, you know, before Roy Williams was at UNC, he was the head coach at Kansas, and Kansas City was really his old stomping grounds. Now one of his former players lives here, and some advice Roy gave to him is paying off in dividends. Oh my goodness, the Duke men's basketball team barely got by Central Florida after a last second putback spun out of the basket. We've got top seed UNC and five seed Auburn facing off in the Sweet 16 here in Kansas City, Missouri. And while you know UNC is the more storied program, both of these teams have very similar styles. You've got to keep skipping. You've got to keep skipping. There's a reason why these fourth graders believe that they will win. I believe that we will win. <laughs> Their teacher is Billy Thomas, a former Kansas basketball star who played for Roy Williams in the mid-90s. You knew him when he was a little bit younger. What was he like? <laughs> fiery, fiery, fiery. But passionate, I would, I, would, I would say. And he still hadn't lost any of his passion. Now, Billy's the boys' basketball coach at the Barstow School in Kansas City. Roy thought Billy would go into coaching on his recruiting trip at Kansas 26 years ago. And that's always stuck with me, always stuck with me, always stuck with me. And lo and behold, here I am. Billy's led the Knights to the state championship game three years in a row. Which one? This is the actual first place trophy. UNC guard Shea Rush was a part of every run. Where's Shea at? Shea's in the back back there, behind 54. What did Billy, when you were in high school, kind of tell you about Roy? Because he was coached by him. <laughs> uh, he told me a lot of great things, that he's a phenomenal coach. And I'm so lucky to be able to be coached by Coach Williams. It's very neat to see how much uh, BT, Coach Thomas, emulates Coach Williams. Rush's family is basketball royalty in Kansas City. His father and two uncles played in the NBA. My family's always been phenomenal about let me do whatever I want, and basketball kind of found me. The former Kansas star graduated in 1998, but Roy's mentored him through his professional career and now coaching. You know, a lot of the times of just making sure you energize for the kids, making sure your passion, you know, that they can feel. Billy passed the baton to Shea at UNC, and he knows he's in good hands. Good, well-rounded man, you know, that's going to that your kid's going to be around. And um, it's bigger than just a basketball thing. UNC starting forward, Garrison Brooks, has a wire holding his tooth in place and a gnarly scab on his lip. And his teammates aren't taking it easy on him. Oh, is he right there? Yeah, he's just a, he's just a little bit uglier. But uh, you don't believe it. <laughs> his lip still is really huge. Um, but I don't know if it's normal because his lips is always big. I can talk now, but like after the game, I can talk. So I'm, I'm good now. I'm smiling. Like I'm out here with my guys, so I'm happy. While Brooks is feeling better, he'll be facing some friendly competition. He grew up just 30 minutes outside of Auburn and played with four of the Tigers when he was younger. Miles Parker is one of his close family friends. Me and Miles are like really close, man. We were always roommates. Me, him, and Jamal were roommates on the road all the time. So I mean, like, I think Miles is actually one of the funniest guys I know. All jokes aside, the Tar Heels are happy to have him back. He's tough. He's tough as nails, um, and he. He, he does a lot of dirty work, doesn't really care about what's going for himself. Um, he kind of just does anything he can to help the team. 